Learn how to Bokashi compost in less than five minutes. We love Bokashi composting because we can throw everything in. In a big family, that makes such a difference to our waste. From our bed scraps to scrapings off plates, meat, dairy, bones, everything can go in. Ends of bread, I even shake the crumbs in before I recycle the bag. And let's be honest, sometimes we forget things are in the fridge, like some beans that then had to go in there, should have been used. Eggshells can go in there and all of your veg scraps. Now you're gonna need a Bokashi composter itself. You can make these, I will link some tutorials below, or you can buy one like I have here. They come in sets of two, so you can fill one and you can let one ferment while you fill the other one. As you can see, this one is very full, so try not to spill it like I did. Bokashi composting is anaerobic, which means you don't want any air in it, which is why I am squishing it down as much as possible. I fill up my compost caddy in my kitchen when that is full probably every couple of days or if it's not full after three days I usually do it anyway because I don't want it to get smelly then you're gonna need Bokashi brand you can buy this it's very inexpensive I buy a couple of bags a year they cost about six pounds each this one I got from Wiggly Wigglers and I will link that below too if you are in the UK you don't have to do this bit but I like to add some kind of brown paper I just saved this bit from some shopping I had it means that less air can get in. I squish it down and then when I put the lid on, I squish as much air out as possible. Don't open the lid unless you need to. Then when it's full, I put it outside. You can leave it inside, but I put mine outside, out of the sunshine and leave it to ferment for two to three weeks. You're going to need to drain off the juice every couple of days as well. This only takes a couple of seconds, but it is good to remember it because if you don't, that's when this could get smelly. As you can see, I haven't done it for a few days, so that's why it's quite full. Autumn occupational hazard, if you're leaving it outside, is this little spider that came in. Now I put mine just behind the greenhouse where it is shaded from the sun so it doesn't get too hot. And now that this one is full, I'm switching it out for the other one that has been sitting there for about three weeks while I filled up the other. And I'm now gonna add that to my compost. I'm draining off the liquid before I do it to make sure there's as little liquid in there as possible. You can pour this down the drain, the Bokashi juice. It is good for clearing your drains. It can be a little bit pungent, but not terribly smelly. You can also use it one part Bokashi to 100 parts water, the juice to fertilize your plant. Now I add my Bokashi to my compost bin. I don't like to dig it into my soil because I practice no dig and that for organic gardeners, I encourage you to do this too. Too. You want your bakashi to be covered when you put it into the compost bin, which is why I'm just digging a hole for it to go into. This is my sub pod and I put about half of it in here. It's not as big as my other compost bin. As much bakashi that is touching soil, the better. So I either dig a hole in the compost and then put soil on top, or if I've got some spare soil, I will put it on top. But if I've got the time, I will mix it around in the compost bin as well. So as much of the Bokashi is touching as much soil as possible and it will break down super quickly within the month. Because I only put half in my sub pod, I put the other half in my cold compost bin. So you could do this too or you could put the whole thing in. Again, I just have a dig around. It aerates the compost too, which helps break it down and you can add it to any kind of compost bin you have. If you do not have one, you just need to add it to some kind of soil. So whether that is in your garden, like I said, get a compost bin, it's better because any garden waste can go in there too and you're not disturbing the soil or you could have a sealed container with soil in it that you can dig the bakashi into it will also break it down perfectly in there now here's the truly yucky bit nothing is perfect and bakashi can be a little bit yucky i don't particularly like washing out the bakashi bin but i'm only doing this once a month I try to rinse it in the outdoor tap first. I don't recommend doing this with socks and flip-flops like I am. But like I said, it's only once a month and I bring it in and give it a good old scrub. Make sure once you've done this that the little tap where you drain off the juice is nice and tightly screwed in there because over time it can get a bit looser and I have had drips coming out of it before. So make sure you do that. And voila, you will have the perfect Bakashi compost in a few weeks. Enjoy.